Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, I'm going to show you a project that I've been working on. It's an online registration. I'm doing this in Google Sheets using Google Apps Script. And I'll just demonstrate it quickly here. Basically, it wants your name, middle initial, last name, street address, city, state, and zip, phone, and email. This is something like if you're signing up for like a daily class, but you also want to keep track of the contacts, so whoever signs in, you have their contact information and also you have a sign-in sheet, like a daily sign-in sheet and the date they signed in. So here I'll demonstrate So I filled out the form, now I can hit register and now this person is registered if you look over the contacts, you can see their name listed here, all the information that was given, their email address, and the last date they registered, and the count. So basically your contacts will just, if you can find, if there's another, if, if there's the same contact in here, they'll mark it how many times it, the person is registered, and they can never register twice in the same day. And the sign-in sheet just keeps every time they register they just mark a date next to when they registered so say you had a class or some sort and you had three people attend your class well this is how it would look three people there and then three people on the fourth and then one on 611 so say somebody came back to your class on 611 and they try to register so we'll register Steve D. Miller And what it's going to do is going to find the contact information, pull it in, so the person can double check, make sure everything's right, and then go ahead and register. So they register again. We go over to contacts, and the Steve D. Miller, last time it was updated, was on 611. He registered twice, and then he was added again to the bottom here as another contact. And I add some safety measures in here so no one can register twice in one day. So if I hit register, already signed in today. So they don't have to worry about it. Didn't mess up their contacts and it didn't add him again to the sign up sheet. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I built this. I'm going to show you the Google Sheet side of it and then the Google Apps script of it. Before we get started building this program, remember to subscribe to this channel to catch the latest videos on Google Sheets and Google Apps Script. Now let's get started. Here I'm on a new Google Sheet. I'm going to start by doing all the Google Sheet layouts first and then I'll move to the Google Apps Script. So I'm going to first give it a name, online registration. I'm going to name my sheets here. So I got all my sheets named main contacts and sign in sheet. I'm going to start with the sign in sheet and do that layout. So there I have my sign in sheet laid out. I just put one header record here. Next we're going to go to context. I'm going to lay out the header record here as well. So there I have my header record for my contacts. Next I'm going to work on the main sheet. Next, I'm going to put a data validation for email, and it's under text, contains a valid email. 
and we can hit save there. So that's it for the layout. Next I'm going to create the register button. So I'm going to go to insert drawing. Type in register. So we got that. We could save it. And now we have all that laid out. So next we're going to go to our script. So I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to script editor. I'm going to give this a name, project name. I'm going to call it the same as my sheet. I'm going to hit OK. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in all my functions. And then I'm going to go through each line of the function and, and describe what it does. So now I have it copied. I'm just going to paste it. And now I'm going to scroll to the top. I'm going to hit save. The first function we're going to be talking about is submit record. And we're going to attach this function call to the register button here. So every time I click this, I, well, I first populate all these fields and then I click this. And this is the code that runs after I click it. So first thing I'm doing is setting my active sheets object. Then I'm declaring my sheets, the main sheet, the contact sheet, and the sign sheet using their names. Uh, next I'm getting the last row of the contact sheet because I'm going to be going through each row on the contacts to try to find the name so I can update the update last date and the count. And then the next two I got my sign sheet. I'm looking for the next row because I'm going to populate the next row and also I'm looking at the next row of the contact sheet as well because I'll be populating that if I can't find an existing record. So the next I'm getting all the values from my form here. So I'm getting all these values. Um, I'm setting the first name, middle initial, and last name to uppercase. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can do those searches for uppercase. That way everything all the data I put in on those fields is uppercase and everything I'm searching for is uppercase so nothing is very case sensitive in my searching. The next thing I'm doing is getting the current date so I'm doing the date, getting the month and year and then I'm concatenating a date string together to populate my last update date on my this right here. So next I'm doing an if statement if all these fields are filled out from my form well, first I'm checking and make sure they're all filled out. If not, then I'm going to pull up a air box that pops up and says fill out all required fields and then returning. And then I don't do anything after that. But everything, if everything is filled out, I'm declaring a variable, a found record, and I'm using this to just keep track if I find a record in the contacts and if I don't I'm going to add a new record if I do find a record in the contacts I'm going to be updating it so the next thing I'm doing a for loop I'm looping through each of the contacts I'm comparing the first name middle initial and last name for every record if I find it I'm getting the count of that record I found I'm getting the previous date that I find so I'm grabbing these two last fields here, I'm grabbing the date and the count from the record I find. I'm taking that date, I'm getting it down to the string date so I can do a comparison to my current date. And the reason I'm doing the date comparison is because I don't want anybody to register twice in one day. So I'm making sure there's a difference between those dates. And if there's a difference between those dates, then I'm populating all that I should say I am updating all that data that from the record I found on the contact sheet. So I'm doing an update of all these fields. Uh, I also should point out that I have a count. So I'm adding another 
count. So say if they registered twice already, I'm adding a third time because they're coming in and registering again. So I'm changing the count by one. And then I'm also doing a I'm also adding a record to the sign in sheet as well with this statement here. And then I'm going to say I found a record. So again, if these dates do match, then I'm coming down here and say already signed in today and then I'm clearing out my form and I'm returning. And then that take it takes care of that. Now if I go through the contacts and I don't find a record at all, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new record to the contacts. So I'm going to use my next row contact here and I'm going to add a row and then using a count of one because this will be the first record. And then also I'll be adding a record to the sign in sheet. And then the last thing of it is I'm clearing my form. So that takes care of that function. That is the function that's called from the register button. The next function is guest, get guest record, and this is an on edit function. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to be filling out the first name, middle initial, and last name. And right when I click the last name, it's going to do a search. So it's going to search through my contacts to see if I already have that name in my contacts. And if it does, it's going to populate the rest of this right here, the address that he states. So someone can just overlook it, make sure it's up to date and hit register. Makes things a little quicker and plus people aren't duplicating records on contacts. So what this does is this E thing has an object and tells you which part of the sheet you're updating. So from that E, I'm getting the range, the spreadsheet, and from the spreadsheet, I'm getting the sheet name, I'm getting the search column, search row, and the input value. I'm declaring my active sheets object. I'm getting my declaring my sheets, the main sheet and the contact sheet, because those are the two sheets I'll be working with. And I'm also getting the last row of the contact sheets. So I'm going to be searching through. I want to see all the records. So I'm specifically looking for column 3 and row 5 for the update on that cell, which is right here. 3 would be C5. And then I'm making sure there's a value of in inputted, so it's not nothing. And I'm on spreadsheet main, so specifically to that last name. From there, I'm grabbing the first name, middle initial, and last name from my main sheet. I'm going through my contacts records and I'm make, seeing if I have something that's equal to these three fields. If I do, then I am grabbing the sheet address or street address, city, state, zip phone, and email from my contact sheet and I am populating into my form, the sheet address, city, state, zip, phone, and email. And then that is the end of that function there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to register our get guest record. Next I'm going to go to edit and current project triggers. I'm going to hit add trigger. I'm going to keep this as submit record or I'm going to change this to get guest record. I'm going to keep this as head. I'm going to keep this as from spreadsheet and then on open I'm going to change this to on edit and then notify me daily. I'm going to keep that the same and I'm going to hit save. And then from there it's going to put us through the security thing so I'm going to hit my account. I'm going to hit advanced. I'm going to hit go to online registration. I'm going to allow to edit, create, create, and delete the spreadsheet. I'm going to hit allow. And there my trigger is added. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then the final thing we're going to do is add this function to our button. So I'm going to go back over to our main screen. 
I'm going to right click, I'm going to hit the three arrows, I'm going to say assign script, I'm going to put submit record in there, I'm going to hit OK, so that is complete. And then the last thing I'm going to do is we're going to test it, so I'm going to put So I got it all filled out, and I get it register, and that's complete. I can go to my contacts. I can see the whole contact is put in, my date and count, and then my sign-in sheet is also signed. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.